Marina Bromovich is an artist who is still waiting to be understood, despite her great popularity and influence. The performance she presented at the Venice Biennale in 1997 was called Balkan Baroque and represents Marina Bromovich's attempts to clean up a huge pile of bloody bones for four days and six hours while singing folk songs from her childhood. She shares about this work. And this piece was so important to me because this was a metaphor for the Balkan War. The smell hit you first. <laughs> And there she was in this dark space, sitting on this huge pile of increasingly smelly cow bones. In white clothes, covered in blood, scrubbing with a wire brush on these bones, singing a lament. Wow, it was difficult to do it because it was the ho hottest thing in, in, um, in Venice, you know, 30 degrees, the warmth was coming out of the bones. And I was doing this six days, six hours every single day. I like to tell you the story how we in Balkan killed the rats. We have very old, traditional, and rather ancient method of doing it. The method is how to transform the rat into wolf, to make wolf rat out of him. But before I explain the method, I'd like to tell you something more about rats you should know. First, they eat large quantity of food, sometimes the double weight of their own body. The front teeth are growing permanently. They have to be grinded. Otherwise, they're facing suffocation. They're very caring about their family members. They will never kill or eat anybody from their own tribe. They're extremely intelligent. Einstein said once, if the rat will be 20 kilo more weight, he definitely will be a ruler of the world. If you put a plate with a poison food in the front of the hall, he will sense it and not eat it. The method. To catch the rats, you have to fill the holes with the water and leave only one free. In this way, you can catch 35 to 45 rats. You have to choose only the male members. You put them in the cage and give them only water to drink without any food. After a while, the teeth start growing, they get hungry, and they're facing their own suffocation. Naturally, they will not kill the members from their own tribe, but in fear of dying, they will kill the weakest one of them. And then another weak one, and another weak one, and another weak one. Till, till the only one, the most stronger, superior rat is left. In this moment, the rat catcher has to observe this rat carefully. Just give him water to drink. And after a while, the teeth start growing, and the timing in this moment is extremely important. When the teeth are growing so much that it will be suffocated in the next half an hour, at this point, the rat catcher opens the cage, take the knife, and take his eyes out of his head and let him free. In this point, the rat is nervous, is in panic, is afraid of dying, is outraged. He will run into the every rat hole on his way and kill every rat he found. It. Only till he meet the stronger and more superior rat to him, who will kill him. This is the way how we make in Balkan the wolf rat. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Our life on this planet is so incredibly difficult and there's so much pain. And what is my responsibility as an artist? I'm not a politician, but what I can do on my own to change something or to change consciousness. Abramovich won the prestigious Golden Lion for Balkan Baroque. The art world had finally caught up with her uncompromising vision. <laughs>